Agatha took the trinkets we collected and added them to her frost tonic. She had the family she always wanted, and nothing was going to stop that. Not even time itself. That night, we couldn't wait to see if our new feelings would shatter the spell holding us in. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I thought it would work. So did I. It's just a stupid spell. Wait, V! Come back! I had no idea what to do next. I was at a loss for words. And then over the balcony, I heard... One! Hot <gasps> one! Shiny biscuits! No Don't way! Hey, Tower! Watch the cape! No, seriously. Watch it. Doesn't it blow? Nice Don't come in, wind. Whisper. Whisper is terrified, but Whisper has learned to repress his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper? King Graham, are you ready to seek adventure? Whoa! Get a load of those arms! You look like Whisper feels! That's flattering, but inappropriate. <laughs> Seriously, it's called Arm Day. You look like you've been on an arm decade! Hey, Whisper, that's enough. There's more to this princess than a sterling physique. Uh, uh, princess? Oh, long story. Uh, did you scale this tower looking for the love of your life too? What? No! I was sent to rescue you! Wait, wait, there are ladies? I wasn't informed about any ladies. <laughs> How does my mane look? Well, I appreciate the thought, but I don't need rescuing. I'm doing just fine on my own, thank you. You didn't bring any adventuring rope, did you? Adventuring rope? Uh, looks like you're stuck up here with us, then. Might as well pull up a chair and try to keep it down. The others are sleeping. Whisper shell! Whisper. I filled Whisper in on the mess I had gotten myself into. After talking a lot about himself, he gave me really bad advice. Like, well, why can't you just have two queens? Yeah. And are you sure they don't know Whisper? <laughs> after a while, he decided that the best thing we could do was write down how I felt in a love poem of sorts. Okay. Let's begin. First, I'll need uh, a verb. Feel. What the hell? Look, taste, smell? Feel. An adjective? Wonderful. And an animal? Mm. Owl. A part of the body. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Arms. And your favorite cheese. See, there was a reason why I picked arms, because I know most people probably would think that I would go for eyes, but I was thinking about how V was doing the archery thing. That's why. <laughs> Not any sort of weird arm fetish, okay? Anyway, cheese! Cheddar. Let's see here. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep, that should do it. Here you go. Thank you, Whisper. Our love feels like a wonderful owl, and your arms are like cheddar. <laughs> love, Graham. That doesn't sound too romantic. Hmm. Perhaps it needs some work. I'll leave it here so you can edit it to your liking. Thanks. Oh, and a special rabbit sent this. Someone must be looking out for you. Yeah, it's Amaya. What? No. The special rabbit is Amaya. Sorry. What I mean to say is the special rabbit is Amaya. Amaya is a special rabbit. <laughs> it's okay, Whisper. I already know. Whisper's lips will whisper. Hmm, nothing more. 
You know, your whispering voice is louder than your normal voice, right? That's an exaggeration on your part, and you know it. Quiet! You're waking everybody up! My whisper voice wouldn't wake a baby. Someone's coming. Whisper should hide. If the ladies see Whisper, Graham won't stand a chance. Good idea. <laughs> whisper shall hide over the balcony. Wait, no! What? Don't! How did you... I thought only true love is allowed to freely leave this tower. Whisper truly loves Whisper. Oh, figures. Only Whisper could love himself enough to break the spell. Whisper will leave you to it, Graham. Good luck. I'll write. Oh, so I guess that's why V is so upset. Because apparently it's not true love. Minute. Oh, <gasps> it's the clock. We got it. 540. Hmm. So now I'm kind of wondering, it's like, why did we go on a date, not a date, but you know, the adventuring trip with Nice, if it's kind of already decided upon, it's already decided that V is going to be our queen. Well, it seems that way. Mm, we can't go up. I think it would have been more interesting if they made us go on the date and then made us choose again. Because if they did that, I wouldn't know who to pick. Five. Well, maybe we should put the hand on first. Where's Hagatha? Okay, so 540. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm really bad at these kind of clocks, so I'm a little bit apprehensive here. That's... That's 540, right? This is 30, and then this is 45, so in the middle here, 40. Uh, okay. What? Wait. Yeah, her clothes clock is on the cover and set to 540. That little picture there does seem like what I did just now. Did I do it wrong? Maybe I should try it again. One... Two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, what is that, like 40, 50? Yeah, that's 30. So this is 40. But that's what I did. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that moment when you're you're not confident enough in your clock reading skills to say for sure that you didn't do 540. Or is it just a puzzle being obtuse? Is there another part to this? Oh, hang on. Can we see other people when they were younger? Whoa! Bramble! <laughs> she has like tattoos and stuff too. That's great. Oh, what about Maya? <laughs> what? She's like a book nerd. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think but we can that use. That didn't fit there. Yes, but how about this book cover then? If it goes back in time. Oh, what? Oh, what is that, like, 10, 20? Oh. Why, though? Did I miss it earlier? Did someone say to put the book next to the mirror? Is that a mirror or is that a canvas? A canvas. I, I think I get now how it is, but I'm not too sure why. Why we would think of that. Yeah. 10 and then... Is that... is that right? Oh! She ran off to get away from them, didn't she? She oh. did. Agatha's parents did not treat her the way a princess should be treated. They saw her powers as a threat to their kingdom, so they locked her away in a tower and threw away the key. 
So, all she really wanted was a family? We had that in common. That's sad. So when she was little, she was locked away in a castle, and when she grew up, she's still locked away in a castle. But the difference is, now she picked, she chose to be locked away. It's something that she chose herself, not something forced upon her. Oh, I wish we could help her. Can we, I don't know, bring her in as a royal advisor or something? I feel bad for her. Ooh, we could probably use the, the box. A knock. <laughs> From the inside, has a pretty princess joined me all the way down here? I have. Have you brought a gift? Quote, princesses must always bring a gift to those they visit. Unquote. Right, a gift. Let me get right on that. Would you like a poem of love? Round peg? Square hole. <laughs> no? Oh, I don't... Mm, her box? Uh, what do you think about this gift? Oh, oh. My, my. I... I'm sorry. This looks like a wonderful gift, but it's not. Hagatha, you can stop the charade. I know. You know what, beautiful? I know all about who you are. And why we're here. Do you like tea? Perhaps we should come inside. She's dodging me. Inside? Inside is the problem. You've locked us all away inside. You've... you've... What do you have cooking in here? Oh, that! <laughs> That's nothing! <laughs> Pay that no mind. Listen, there's a giant world out there, and it may not be safe, and it may not be perfect, but it's real. And it's about time you experienced it. Oh... I'm locked away by the power of this tower too, princess. No one ever loved me enough to save me from its enchantment. That's nonsense. You don't need anyone else. I can't believe I'm going to quote Whisper, but you need to... <sighs> Love your... <laughs> Remember leg day. Love yourself. You don't need anyone to rescue you. You can escape this tower by yourself. Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm not ready for all that. That sounds really nice, but none of you here can do that, so... I don't know how you're expecting Go her on. to be able to. It's time. Perhaps some words of encouragement would help? Yes. She'll love it. Oh. I, 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 I've never heard kinder, sweeter words spoken about me. I... Well, I have to be careful not to cry as my skin will dry out. <laughs> you are indeed a good princess. Do you want to step outside? I, I just might. Oh. Will that be enough, though? No. Oh. oh, sad. I guess I'm not quite ready to leave yet. I, I should... Let's do it together. What? Princess Hagatha, would you take my hand? I would love to. Thanks, Princess Grey. Or should I say, King Graham. You brought back a young soul to a very old woman. <gasps> the Frost Tonic! The Frost Tonic! The what? You, you have to stop it! The princesses! They're still trapped inside! No. <gasps> yeah. Take my adventuring rope. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. No time to question this. <laughs> oh 
no, no. It's going as fast as I am. That's not good. That was really nice and all, but I'm not sure how Hagatha was able to love herself so much within like that 20 seconds. Oh, not this again. And yet, neither the two princesses that were stuck here and me, we couldn't get out. Do we not love ourselves? Well, I got out in the end, but still, those two other princesses. Oh, jeez. Oh, nothing popping up, please! Ooh. Where are we even going? Oh my goodness. Better hurry up, King Graham. Okay. All right, maybe. Oh! Princesses! Has any of them even- Oh, Look Jesus. Out. This is what happens when you're just a little bit too greedy. She already had the two princesses and Graham in there, but no, she wanted to freeze time too. Hagatha, I mean. Good thing we have these big, strong muscles. <laughs> Everyone's been talking on and on about Graham's muscles. Looks like he's been going to the gym forever or something. Hurry, Grandpa! <sighs> Hurrying, Gwendolyn. Oh! Grandma's life is at stake. Oh, you know what's really horrible about this? Whoever you choose, the other one that you don't choose is the best friend of the one that you did choose. So it's kind of awkward in the end, but we'll see how that goes. Hopefully Nice won't be too upset. <laughs> this tower is a lot taller than I remember it being. Oh my gosh. Get up. Hey, what about the rope? You can climb the rope again, you know? <gasps> oh! So close. Oh, that's the. Oh. Save both of them. Oh! B, watch out! No, please! Oh! It, it worked. It, it worked. Please! Wait, Nice! No! No! That's the V I know.
It's Valenice. Hmm. My full name is Princess Valenice of Eastern Klima. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa! And then, Junger Mavi lived happily ever after. Well, we got to know each other a little better before I proposed again. Lucky for me, I got a yes on the second time. And we've lived happily most of the time. A loving marriage is worth all the hard work that goes into it. And that's no fairy tale. Hmm. <laughs> you should come back with us, Hagatha. Chocolate chip pancakes. All right, you can come in now. <laughs> oh, it smells delightful in here. Our table is ready, dear. You know, I've always loved this restaurant. Happy birthday, V. You rigged the magic bowl to bake breakfast? That I did. <laughs> well, aren't you the hot cake? Ah, I was waffling with it for a while before I got the pancakes to taste right. The thin ones always crape me out. <laughs> I almost gave up when the whole operation went toast. Sometimes you just have to keep trying until you pancake it anymore. <laughs> They're going at an impressive rate. <laughs> I have never been more in love with you than I am in this very moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Gwendolyn must be ready with her surprise. Come in, sweetheart. Happy birthday, Grandma V. Well, thank you. I wonder what it could be. Open it. Open it. Oh, my. You made this? Sure did. I haven't sold one of these in years. And such a lovely design. What is it? How did you know? A little birdie told me. Well, I just love it. And I can't wait to tinker with it. This one looks like just the right amount of tricky. The way I like them. <laughs> Thank you, Gwendolyn. The real present is what's inside that puzzle box. Let's solve it together. You turn that. I'll twist this. And that should do it. Isn't that too easy of a puzzle? <laughs> oh, that's the thing that she and Grim found on their adventuring trip. Don't say anything, Grandma. Just listen. This is my favorite birthday ever. Sweet. Well, how do I look? Very old. <gasps> oh my god. Did you see what happened just now? Manny! He turned himself into Graham, I think. Can't be sure, but I think that's what happened. Oh my god. 
So in the end, we ended up with V. Oh, I don't know how to feel about this. I guess I'm happy, but I kind of feel bad for niece too. What's gonna happen with her arm? Are we ever gonna find out? Are V and Nis still friends? Oh, I don't know. I think we're meant to assume that if we fall in love with one of the princesses, then the other one never loved us. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll just keep thinking that way to make myself feel better. Because the way they had it constructed, the adventure trip with me and Nis, it felt kind of romantic. But I'm pretty sure that's just because they wanted to make it generic and all-purpose because some players might have gone with Nis instead. So, that, that just made it feel awkward at the end because, well, we're like standing next to V while Nice is watching in the distance. Is she mad at us? Is she mad at her best friend? Didn't seem so, so I don't think she liked us that way. Her hand though! Oh my god, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I don't want Nice to turn evil or anything. But if they show it, then it's gotta come back, right? Just like Manny. Oh, Manny, I don't know what Manny's planning. Ah, okay, episode 3. Once Upon a Climb. I liked it more than episode 2 by a long shot, but I don't think it was as well crafted as episode 1. It felt like it was dumbed down for people like me, people who are not that good at solving puzzles. Because <laughs> I didn't get stuck that much, and when I didn't get stuck, that means the puzzle wasn't that hard. Which I think is uh, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. I've been looking around a lot about what people think about episodes, and I see that, you know, some people like me, they think that episode 3 is like, hey, you know, it returned to the same kind of tone as episode 1, so I like it. But older players, like people who played other King's Quest games, I noticed that some people felt dissatisfied because they thought it was too linear, too easy, and they preferred episode 2 to that. So I guess that's really a difference between old school and new age, oh god, I hate saying that, new age gamers, really depends on if you have previous expectations of how King's Quest games should be, should be, quote, quote. Hmm. But overall, I did really enjoy the episode. Of course, I find it easier to focus on the story when it's not busy, you know, trying to make me decide who to kill off and who to not kill off. You know what was really sad though, and I never really got to talk about it because it was cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. How Graham was in bed and he was getting older, hoping for the mirror to give him more adventures. Uh, I don't- <laughs> it's not something I can resonate with too much yet, thankfully. But like just seeing somebody watch themselves get older, that's kind of sad because it's like their lifetime, lifespan is slowly dwindling away. Maybe I feel this way because recently my grandma she had a fall and it feels like she aged so much in just a month, but anyway, just kind of felt bad about that. All that he can really do now is talk about his glory days while he's in bed. And even V. V is so old now. Everybody is old. More than all of this, seeing that you have grandchildren who are so energetic and stuff, you know, it's nice because your family is growing. Oh, we never, we never learned who... Gwendolyn's and what's the other kid's name? Gart? Who are their parents? Like, um, Graham's kids. I guess we're not gonna see them because we would have seen them by now. Hmm. I kind of feel bad about Gart because he missed the story again. Like, I don't know why they keep favoring Gwendolyn so much. It's, it's kind of disturbing, really. There's a lot going on. We're looking at the previous stories, and then there's also the grandkids in the present, and the grandpa and grandma, and... Uh, lots of things happening at the same time, and it just all reinforces that time, time is something that's not stopping for us. And with that thought in mind, we will be moving on to chapter 4 shortly, which... Oh god, I don't... I'll try not to let that Metacritic rating sit in my head, but I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit afraid. Puzzle intensive? Oh, I'll have to... I'll have to bring my puzzle thinking cap on. I don't have one. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> King's Quest Chapter 3. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. When we return, we will uncover more of Manny's evil plot. I don't know what he wants to do. Well, whatever he does, it probably didn't work out because Graham is the one sitting in the bed by the end, so... Yeah. 
I will see you shortly. Bye!